most of us like to think of our pets as having hearts of gold. But in this particular corner of Hurstpier Point in Sussex, they have hearts of stone. And no stone is left uncarved to make the models as realistic as possible. That's why the chimps tea party looks almost festive. After all, it's a poor art that never rejoices. Mr. Stanley Anscombe has been carving animals out of bath stone for five years. He's quite self-taught, does all the work himself and designs his models from memory. Every process is done by hand. The eyes are painted in and the models coated with ordinary flat paint. From a distance, it isn't easy to tell the live from the stone animal, especially when he's got his collar on. Lifting the animals is no easy task. Though made of stone, they weigh much more. And Mr. Anscombe estimates he uses about 15 tons of stone a year. Penguins are in great demand for gardens, and so are swans in this new stone age. The squirrel's very much alive and seems to know he has that advantage over the others. 